Government Street United Methodist Church, known as the Beehive, is in the middle of restoration efforts. It's the church at the corner of Government Street and Broad Street. I'm sure you've passed it so many times. We're told it has the nickname Beehive because its congregation was the original Methodist church that spawned every Episcopal and Methodist church in Mobile today. You have to understand, a church is its people. Uh, uh, it's not just a building, but this building is of such huge historical import because it's one of a kind. Uh, there's nothing like it in the nation. Others is here with me with details about the restoration. Caroline, when was the church originally started? A long time ago. So yeah. The first <laughs> congregation was in the early 1800s, which I did not know that. And they attended church on Franklin Street. And then in 1895, they actually moved to a newly built Gothic building on Broaden Government, where it is now. And then in 1917, it was redone by an architect that redid it to be more Spanish colonial, which is what you see today. And we're getting to see some of the older photos. Here. I yeah. love old. I know. He, he brought out all the original photos, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. These are great. All right, so what else do we need to know about the restorations? They've already begun, right? Yes, they've already begun, and you know, I talked to the pastor, and he said the main reason they want to do these restorations is to preserve the historic value, because obviously it's a very old church with a very old history, and everyone mm -hmm. knows where the beehive is if you right. live in Mobile. And they've really done several large projects. So the first one was the outside. And since 1917, it hadn't really been touched. Mm -hmm. And the pastor said he was kind of sad because it became a little bit of an eyesore. So he said coal dust settled on all the details on the front of the church. And he said it just started to look dirty and they power washed it but that only lasts for so long yeah so they ended up power washing it for the first time since 1917 they repainted it and they repainted wow. it with a special paint that should help to keep it a little cleaner for longer so and then, Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go sorry. ahead. There's more? There's more. <laughs> There's another project quickly here. They actually restored 12, their 1,200 pipes, uh, the organ pipes, and they restored the organ as well. And it's actually the oldest two-manual pipe organ in Mobile. So this is current, right? This is current, yes. What else is left? It looks like they've done a beautiful, there's the organ now. Uh -huh. it looks like they've done a beautiful job so far. What else is left? So the only thing that's left is the fellowship hall, and they are on phase two of three, I believe. But recently, they found a hidden gem uh -huh. in the fellowship hall. So when the pastor came to the church, I think he came in 2017, and they've been doing these restorations since then, he said he walked into the fellowship hall, and there's just a popcorn ceiling. So they tore that popcorn ceiling down. They found a hole upstairs, and the, above the ceiling wow. was a gorgeous stained glass dome that was just hidden <laughs> and concealed. Uh, they said they put the ceiling up in 1950s to create kind of an upstairs. So they had no idea? Nope. <laughs> he had no idea. He said it was the best surprise. Oh, what a find. Mm -hmm. Okay, very, very interesting. And you can watch the full story on the Beehive Restoration on WKRG News 5 at 6. Thanks, Caroline. No problem.